In this next tutorial, what we're doing is now that we know how to get into our retrieve system and navigate around, at least to get to the enter absences section, what I want to do is I want to take a moment to just walk through the process of how a teacher would enter an absence into the system. So a couple ways you can uh, start the process. So if you're in a tree, you can click home and you can use the quick links to enter absence if you've already set up the quick links. If you haven't, you just go to the person here and you go time and attendance and you go enter absence. So right now we're on the the site where we can enter our absence. First thing you need to do is, is state the absence reason. If you're a little unsure of exactly where your absence fits, uh, please talk to uh, the office at your, at your school and the secretary or principal might be able to help you out with that. If uh, you need further help, uh, central office here is here to support you with this. So let's say for example, I'm feeling sick. I I'm gonna choose uh, sick for the absence reason. Let's say that for this scenario, it has nothing to do with COVID. So it's, it's, I don't have a fever or anything like that. I, I'm sick for a completely separate reason. Uh, you can choose a single day or a range of days. So if you choose a range, you'll just pick what's the starting day, what's the end day. I'm going to just choose a single day here. I'm going to go to the month and August 31st, first day of classes with students, I'm going to select that is the day that I'm feeling sick. So I'm going to choose next. And so with teachers, this is uh, actually a simpler process than with support staff because really for this date, Monday, August the 31st, uh, the way teacher absences work is it can be a.m. or it can be p.m. or it can be for a full day. So you can pick whichever one is appropriate. Let's say, for example, I start off at school, things are going all right, and then uh, something happens. I get a severe migraine or something like that in the afternoon, and I leave at lunch. So you can see I'm going to select p.m. for this one. I'm gonna move here. Do you need someone to replace you? Let's say I'm a classroom teacher and the answer is yes, absolutely. Is he or she required to work the same schedule? Yes, they're working my schedule. Do you want to request employee to replace you? And yes, I'm, I'm gonna choose the person who's going to replace me. So I get on the phone at lunch or, or someone at the office gets on the phone at lunch and they find someone to replace me. So, uh, now, for our system and our purposes, the person that you find to replace you, or, or in some schools, maybe the office uh, takes care of that, whoever they find is the person that you put in uh, for employee number one. So in some school divisions, they actually, you can put down your first and second and third choice and like a central phone out system calls these people and they respond that way. We don't do that. So you, we're just going to use the top box to select the person that we have already spoken to. So I'm going to choose the magnifying glass. I'm going to start typing in the teacher's uh, last name that I'm, I talked to. I phoned up Mr. Thompson, he's going to substitute teach for me. And you can see it now has his name in the system. So I am now going to the next page. Have you already contacted Mr. Thompson about filling in for this absence? Yes, I did. We phoned him up at lunch. And now it actually has the ability to kind of like uh, inform Mr. Thompson of what uh, we'll be teaching. You almost use it kind of sub plans, but we're not going to, but we have to fill something in. So let's say I'm a, a junior high teacher. That's good enough. And I'm just going to put in this. I have to fill in something here and then I'm just going to click next. So you can see now it will actually show you the ATA uh, agreement that was collectively bargained on sick leave and we have to follow this. Uh, and so what you can see here is we've got a few questions. So you can read through what the sick leave portion of the collective agreement actually says. And it says, is this absence for three days or more? 
I'm gonna put no, I sure hope it doesn't extend for, for that long. Is this COVID-19 related? And so in this case, let's say my symptoms seem to have nothing to do with COVID, I'm gonna put no, but if you click yes, uh, we then have a further drop down box that you will need to fill out. So if I'm ill with COVID-19 symptoms, I would choose this one. Now this isn't saying that I have COVID-19, I just have symptoms that are COVID-like. So please recognize uh, the difference that way. You're not actually stating that you have COVID-19. Uh, the second box is I'm self-isolating with no symptoms. So if you're self-isolating but you have no symptoms as directed by AHS, you would click this one. The only exception to this is international travel. There's a 14 day isolation requirement and that will be covered under personal leaves, not under uh, sick leave. And also positive tests. So if you have a positive test for COVID, so you've actually have a confirmed case, you would choose the third box there. So I'm gonna click no, let's say that this was not COVID related and I'm just gonna keep on moving. It says you haven't entered an attachment. Are you okay with continuing? Yep, absolutely. Absence reason, you can see this is like a summary of everything we filled out. Once you've confirmed this, uh, you can see check the date, make sure that's right. Check the time, so this is afternoon time. Uh, request an employee, yep, already contacted. He knows he's coming. And then you can see it's under the sick leave and then I click submit absence. It is not submitted until this last blue button is pressed. So please be careful. Don't get to this page and say, oh, everything looks great, must be done. You actually have to submit the absence to finish off the system. So I hope this gives you a, just a quick kind of overview of how uh, teachers will be entering in absences uh, in a tree. Uh, and we ask you can you can do you can enter your absences ahead of time. You can enter your absences on the day of, or you can enter your absences shortly after they've happened. Uh, by the end of the week, principals will be approving absences for the week, so please keep that in mind. By Friday, we want everything kind of tidied and approved uh, so that we can move on to the next week. So that's how we enter absences. Please talk. Uh, to people in your office, at your school, if you need support, or reach out also to Central Services. Thank you.